from the CBS 42 Storm Team. This is a severe weather alert. Well, good afternoon. I'm Storm Team Meteorologist Ashley Gann, along with Storm Team Meteorologist Sarah Canty, and we are tracking the latest on some developing storms in parts of central Alabama. You're likely hearing some rumbles of thunder now as uh, you live in the northern part of Tuscaloosa County. Severe thunderstorm warning will be in effect until 2.15 this afternoon, likely to extend to our east into parts of western Jefferson County. Little Shoal in about 10 minutes, Bull City in about 13, Toadville 18, and Mud Creek, you're in that 20-minute window right Right now, heavy rainfall, and we're now getting some reports that there is the potential for some large hail with this. We haven't seen any reports just yet, or what we call ground truth, but lots of lightning as well. So there's lots of energy in very small areas, and you'll notice where these deep reds are. That's likely where we would see some hailstone. Very gusty wind, upwards of 60 miles per hour, likely. And again, this is tracking off to the south, southeast at this time, moving from northern Tuscaloosa County into the western part of Jefferson County. But we have a line of wet weather and storms to talk about. Now, these are not being warned for right now, but lots of energy in the atmosphere, prompting significant lightning from Anniston up towards Gadsden over towards Heflin. We are seeing some thunderstorm warnings up in North Georgia. So what that tells me is there's just as much energy available in the atmosphere for parts of Alabama as well. So we don't need to let our guard down, even though the criteria is isn't being met just yet for those severe thunderstorm warnings. Look along Interstate 20, though, all the way from Talladega County into Oxford back towards Heflin. We're seeing a good amount of rainfall on I-20 right now. So if you're on that stretch of interstate, please be careful. This rain extends up towards Jacksonville and then back towards the northeast. We're also dealing with some heavy rainfall down towards Folsom as well. So putting some lightning back on that, we can definitely see the flickers of light there. Lots of energy, so that just gives you an idea of how much electricity is in the atmosphere. This is all tracking south into the east and then moving our attention back towards Tuscaloosa. And notice the counties highlighted in yellow. This is where we're seeing all of those thunderstorm watches, so severe thunderstorm potential. It doesn't mean the danger is imminent, but conditions are favorable. And as we dive deeper into the afternoon, this is why we have the weather aware in place for today. We have a very soupy atmosphere. You add in a little bit of that sunshine, it heats things up, that invigorates the atmosphere. And that's when we begin to see these popcorn thunderstorms. And again, moving out of Wyndham Springs right now, traveling east, southeast into Jefferson County. And this storm is now tracking towards Little Shoal in less than 10 minutes. Bull City and Toadville within that 10 to 15 minute window and then Concord in about a half an hour there just off Highway 11 and 269. So we'll be tracking the skies very closely. Again, the potential for very heavy rainfall. We could see some large hail out of this, and we're also looking at some gusty winds, especially on the leading edge of that upwards of 60 miles per hour. Folks, please keep an eye to the sky. Let's zoom out. We've got one last recap. Showers and storms in East Alabama, severe thunderstorm warning. The only one that we have right now in northern Tuscaloosa County, but we do have those severe thunderstorm watches across all of central Alabama. Keep it tuned in here to CBS 42. We'll bring you up to speed with the latest in any developing situation. We'll be on the air immediately, but now we'll send it back to Jeopardy. This has been a severe weather alert from the CBS 42 storm team.